Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the auto it error you're experiencing on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. You want to type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to Radish Editor. You want to right click on that, and then left click on Runner's Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you do any modifications to the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. In order to do that, it's quite simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file, tap up at the top left. Left click on export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. Export range should be selected to all. And make the file name something easily recognizable. Usually the date in which you're making the backup is a smart move. And then you just go ahead and left click on save. So pretty straightforward process of how to do that. And once you've gone ahead and made the backup, and if you ever need to go back, just do file import and navigate over to the file. So pretty straightforward. And once you've done that, go ahead and expand the H key current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to, to expand the drop down. Do the same thing for the software folder. Do the same thing now for Microsoft. And now you want to go down to Windows, so expand Windows, expand the current version folder. Should be something that says Run. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Should be something over on the right side that says Adobe Flash or Adobe PE Flash, and as well as Windows Update. You want to go ahead and delete both of these values in here. So go ahead and right click on Adobe Flash or Adobe OPE Flash, right click, left click on delete. Make sure you want to delete, left click on yes. Do the same thing for the Windows Update one here. Again, deleted. You can see the path up at the top of the screen here for the registry editor. So if you need to pause the video and just see where we are, go ahead and pause the video, rewatch parts of it, slow the video speed down. It's amazing how many different ways you can go ahead and retrieve that information if you're unsure of the path that we followed here. However, some people get confused by that, providing several different reasons of how you should be able to easily locate this area here. So once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.